It's a hundred million dollar problem and as small as a grain of sand, but its force is blinding. Three out of four helicopter incidents in Iraq and Afghanistan are attributed to brownouts. Brownout being specifically where a pilot loses visibility because of all the dust that's being kicked up. This not only causes mission failure and equipment loss, but loss of life. The one thing that I think that we're really trying to do is to make it safer for helicopter pilots to operate in theater. The Corps of Engineers is researching the fundamental physics of particle pickup. And without that information about what's actually happening at the surface, you don't know how the particles are being picked up into the flow. So that's the critical piece of information that we're answering here. And you can see the particles going through the sheet of light. This movement is key to solving the brownout problem. What we want to develop is a modeling capability that will allow us to uh, simulate the helicopter brownout or whiteout situation. And then we can use that as a virtual prototyping tool to be able to uh, model changes in rotorcraft design, changes in flight patterns, so that we can make the helicopter operations in a, in a desert environment safer. Operations that take pilots far away from prepared landing zones, where brownout accidents have doubled with missions in the sands of the Middle East. Mary Cochran, Hanover, New Hampshire. More Corps of Engineers research is at crrel.usace.army.mil.